It feels impossible. I write all day. I write and I write and I write and I try it this way and I trim it and I edit it and I do a million things to make it polished. I try it with you. I formulate it in the way that makes it perfect. I went out there tonight with my set, the best shit I have. And I sucked. I bombed. It, it was just silence. Nobody laughed. And I was like, okay, I'll get to the last part and I'll get them on the last one. The one that I, I shared with you. And I was like, I got there and nothing. It was as if I was in a room that was dark. I thought the mic wasn't working. I thought I broke the mic at some point. I was like, I sort of like stuttered the punchline, but I was like, that doesn't matter because the setup was so good. And I was like, so encased in failure that I was like, I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. And it was the first time I had felt on stage, I shouldn't be here. And it was a big deal. And I, I was so nervous that I was trying to put the mic back in the stand. And I was all sweaty and shaky and I dropped it and it just was like, and I made this like loud echo and I just heard a laugh for the first time, which I thought was just so good, but it was the type of laugh that you would not even wish on your worst enemy. It was like a knife right in the gut. And so I just basically apologized, like scurried away, went to the back, just sat in that booth and just, you know, I wanted to cry. It sucked. us anymore I'm gonna have to change because we gotta give the kid clothes and food and protection and I can't do this anymore my total incompetence it's terrible how did you marry me what did you see in me because it looks to me like you have the worst judge of character the guys in your past and then the guy that you ended up marrying I'm just saying I know that Joe, I'm so sorry for your loss, Joe. I'm so sorry, man, for your loss. Are you? You don't really care, do you? You don't really care. You don't really care. Until something happens to you. And then you're forced to care. You have nothing else to live for. What will I do? What will I do? Well, you'll do what I did. You'll go crazy. There's nothing else to do. Madness is your friend. And when tragedy comes knocking at your door, come in. <gasps> An emergency slips through your window. Come in. You will finally understand. Me. We will bond. We will grab hands and we will skip through the fields of lilies and daffodils. Frolicking to the tune of madness. <laughs> Come here, Jeannie. Give me a dance. Give me a dance. Oh, yeah. I gotcha. You just call out my name. And you know, wherever I am, I'll come running. Oh, to see you again. Winter, spring, summer, or fall, no fall. All you gotta do is call, and I'll be there. 